Now all we, gotta, all we have to do here to get set up is we just need something to pound into the ground as our zero point. On that, we're gonna want some way to hold a uh, offshore release or shoot, even a, a closed pin will work, just something to hold fishing line, then some kind of way to measure 100 foot. So we went to the store and for about eight bucks, we got us a 100 foot contractor tape. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna set this contractor tape onto our spike here and we're just gonna run out 100 feet so we know exactly where 100 feet is. So we're gonna measure exactly 100 feet from that spike out across the yard here so we know where our stuff is. So let's get this set up and we'll come back and we'll get rolling with this. Okay, so what I've done is I've I spooled up my reel pretty close to where I think it's gonna be about full. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave the spool attached. Here's, here's the spool my line, my sun line came off of. And all I'm gonna do is set this on the ground. I'm gonna take my fishing line I'm going to snap it into this crankbait snap that's on my zero point. I'm just going to put that inside the snap like that. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to reel up tight to that snap, get my rod tip on the snap, zero my counter, open my bail, and I'm going to walk out and see where I'm at when I get to 100 feet. So I'm going to walk all the way down here and get to 100 feet, and we'll show you what happens if you've got too much line or not enough line. So follow me down here to 100 feet, and we'll show you how this works. I put my rod tip right at the 100 foot mark on the ruler and I've actually got about 117 feet on the counter. So my counter is higher than 100, which means I need to add line to get more line on my spool. So I'm going to reel under tension, reel all this back in, walk back my 100 feet. I'm going to put more line from the spool onto my reel and redo the same step. So I'm going to reel this up tight, go back and put more line on my reel. And I'm going to try to calibrate again. Okay, I put some more line on my reel. I got my, I got my reel fuller than it was before, trying to make up that extra space I needed. So I just simply clip my line back into my uh, snap. So I'm gonna do the same thing I did. Lines in the snap, zero my counter. I'm gonna walk back to 100 and see if my counter is at 100. You're gonna get a workout doing this. I'm gonna go back and see if my counter is at 100 because it was, it was over 100 before. So I came back, put more fishing line onto my reel, re-snapped it, set my zero point different reel the rod tip right to my new zero point, zero the counter, I'm gonna walk back to 100, and let's see what we get when we do it this time. Okay, I'm back to 100 feet, and remember last time, my, my counter was over 100, so I need to add line. Well now, my counter only says 97, which means I have too much line on my reel. So now all I'm going to do is I've got, I got 100 feet of tape measure, so I know I should be 100. My counter is less than 100, which means I have too much line on my reel, I have to take some off. So I'm gonna do the same thing, wrap this back on under tension, go back down here, put some line onto the spool off of my reel, set my zero point again, come back until I get it to 100. Okay, so now we just took a little bit of line off our spool. What we figure, we figure about eight linear feet for every foot on the counter is kind of about right, so you can kind of guess. So we were at 97. So we took off about 25 feet of line. We're gonna see where that gets us. So again, I put line back onto the spool. I put my line back in this release, zero my counter, walk back to 100 and see where we're at. Okay, so I'm back here. My rod tip's at 100. My counter says 100. I know that my reel is calibrated. It's gonna be perfect on. I'm gonna be able to go right at the precision trolling book, share information with my buddies. We're gonna have the right depth of their crankbaits. We're gonna catch a lot more fish. So remember, measure out 100. Put the line on your reel, put a, a snapper release or even a clothespin, something to hold your line at zero, pull it out to 100. If your counter is more than 100 when you're at 100 foot on the ruler, you need to add line. If you get to 100 feet on the ruler and your counter is less than 100, you need to take line off. So leave the line on the big spool so you can move it on and off, use that clip as your zero point, get it set right. When you get 100 on your counter at 100 feet on the ruler, you got it right, your reel's calibrated, you're ready to go fishing.